All right, you're looking at a daily chart of the NASDAQ, and welcome to my uh, daily review. My disclaimer is that if you uh, if you have a spouse or a child and you tell them to do something, they're probably going to do the opposite. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell anybody to uh, buy, sell, or hold stocks because you do what you want, you know, big boys and girls. And I know you know that feeling if you're a, a parent of a child or if you're a spouse, they're going to do the opposite of what you say. Anyway, <clears throat> Let's take a look at the uh, candle today. The NASDAQ had seven straight, you know, up days and kind of ran out of gas, getting a little tired here, uh, gapped higher at the open, then pulled back, forming this inverted hammer candle. It's still trading slightly above the 50, you know, 0.6% uh, above the 50, but 5.6 below the 200 SMA. And that's a real problem that it cannot, you know, get above the uh, 200, but, you know, give it some time. Uh, today was the anniversary of its uh, <clears throat> slicing of its 200, January 18, 2022. So, of course, it had to be down today. Of course. Uh, the volume was a little higher, so I guess that would con be considered a distribution day. But anyway, let's take a look at the um, S&P 500. Uh, this thing sliced its 200, came down to its 50, and I guess you could say that... <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it found support. It just came down and... Uh, I don't like that candle either. That looks like it uh, worse than the NASDAQ. It's only 0.1% above its 50. So that is not good. The IWM, yeah, very much a bearish engulfing candle here. Still trading above its 200 though. Uh, and um, what was the other one I wanted to look at? Yeah, the mid cap, same kind of thing here. Yeah, just close at the low. So uh, we'll see. I think the market got spooked by some of the Fed speakers today, uh, you know, job owning the market down. But anyway, I don't trade uh, indexes. I like stocks. And one stock that I do like is Tidewater made a high here today and then pulled back just like the indexes did. Nothing wrong here. It's just getting a little heated. 6.3% uh, above its 10 EMA, even after a slight pullback today. So Tidewater needs a breather. OII, oh, another oil stock that I like, just pulled back to its 10, you know, doing nothing wrong. These things aren't going to go straight up every day, so they need to pull back. This is healthy, uh, and this one probably needs to form a little base here. Uh, the slob, SLB, uh, this one broke out of a base here and then kind of pulled back to a pivot area. Still 1.6%. I saw some people saying, oh, it's crashing. It's not crashing. Yeah, that's not a pretty candle but it's still trading above its uh, 10 EMA. So, you know, <clears throat> those stocks look strong to me. Biotech, I like biotech. I like catalysts. You can see just a long run of higher lows. This is just trending real nicely. If you just take a look at the uh, lows here, higher lows, and today it pulled back to its uh, 10 EMA, I believe, and uh, found support and bounced a little bit. So pretty impressive in this tape. Yeah, 1989 was the uh, 10 EMA today. I traded down in 1971, then popped back up. So uh, somebody's buying this stock. Uh, Catalyst looks uh, good. RYTM, it's got the rhythm. Again, same thing as Catalyst. Just if you just you know look at these lows, I mean, it's just trending higher. Um, yeah, it comes down, pulls in, and I, I like this kind of like action here. This little uh, wedge action, pennant action, whatever you want to call it, right around this uh, actionable area there, around thirty dollars. Rhythm looks good to me. Uh, Gloria Estefan's stock, um, RXDX. This one just you know forming a shelf here, gapped up on news, a uh, positive trial, I believe it was, and uh, just holding its gains. Had a nice day last week, and you know holding right there around one twenty. There's nothing you could say about this one. It's uh, you know, it's not actionable. It's way extended, 4.2% above its 10 and 138% above its 200. So that one needs to calm down anyway. So, uh, but there are some drug stocks and biotech stocks that are performing well. A lot of them had good days today, including uh, Novo Nordisk. There's another one making a new high on heavy volume. So uh, that's not Aunt Sally buying this stock. Somebody likes a Novo Nordisk. And um, let's move on from the biotechs. I want to go to the retail because there was uh, some you know, retail uh, news this morning. 
Thought they were going to get hit, but they held up pretty well. Crocs made a new high. This thing is still extended, though. 6% above its 10 EMA. That thing needs to calm down. The elf on the shelf. This one here is, uh, you know, slice is 50. And we've seen a lot of stocks slice their 50 and run right back through here. But this one's having trouble here. And the, the longer it just kind of wedges up on lighter volume, the more bearish I become. That thing needs to power through. Uh, the 50 and not get uh, Matamboed there. So we're, we're going to be watching ELF closely. Ross Stores is another um, retail stock that I like. I think it gapped up here on earnings now today. It just pulled back to its 21 and, and that that thing's doing nothing wrong. Any stock above its 21 is, is doing well. Uh, let me see. Let's move over to the steel stocks. Another group that's showing strength. It's the steel producers of the number six industry group. This is Steel Dynamics. That's what I'm talking about with ELF. You know, it's it's sliced, it's 50, and then rallied right back through without any problems, did not hesitate. And now it uh, it ran up <clears throat> close to new highs. Or did it make a new high? Yeah, I guess it did. And then now it's pulled back, but it's still 1.3% above its 10 EMA. So I do like Steel Dynamics. Tenaris, this one I believe made a new high. And then, <laughs> yeah, people were complaining about this one too. Oh, it's crashing. <laughs> But it just came back to its pivot and, you know, it just gets a little extended, 2.7% above its 10 EMA. It's a little bit out of character for that stock. Um, another one is Nucor. I guess this would be considered the, uh, you know, it's 40, 39 billion market cap. That's a big uh, stock. And if you look at the weeklies, I should be showing you the weeklies on all these. I just don't have time. That thing looks like it's uh, consolidating nicely within a base and uh, doing nothing wrong. Yeah, today... Came down, had that inverted hammer, still 1.9% above its 10 EMA. It looks good to me. Uh, let me see. Alcoa report after the bell today. So I expect weakness from these uh, mining and metal stocks. That was not a great report from Alcoa. Freeport, once again, you got to look at the weeklies. This is, looks to me just like a consolidation here in a nice uh, base. You know, the bigger the base, the higher in space. So uh, we're going to keep our eye on. Freeport was one of the leaders coming out of the... Uh, Oh, three, uh, oh, zero, 2000 to 2003 stock market, uh, crash, I guess you'd call it, or bear market and 08, 09 bear market. So that's definitely one to watch. Um, Southern Copper, this one was just going, you know, parabolic here after breaking out of this. Uh, I guess that would be considered a cup with a handle and, uh, yeah, had just a couple nice weeks now pulled back. But still, this thing needs more of a breather. It's 4.8% uh, above its 10 uh, EMA. Southern Copper, very strong stock, pays a nice dividend. And another one that I'm watching in this group is SGML. Once again, slicing the 50, now trying to run back through. And today it recaptured it. Uh, it's 1.9% uh, above its 10 EMA. So um, good for good for SGML. Uh, six point uh, gain today. So that stock looks okay. Uh, some of the machine stocks, Caterpillar looks good. You know, these ones are really big stocks and big consolidation and a breakout. So this, I would expect this, this to run a little bit longer. Sure, it pulled back. Uh, still, you know, 0.9% above its 10 EMA and looking good. Terex, again, you know, it's got this consolidation here. The flat base ran up, now pulled back a little bit. That looks fine to me as well. And then this uh, UK stock, CNHI. Again, you got to look at the weeklies. Always look at the weeklies. Stage one base here and it's trying to break out of it. So we'll see if it can do it or not. Uh, I like its chances. It's just got a little ahead of itself up here. It was um, yeah 4.1% above its 10 EMA. So it's allowing the moving averages to catch up. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to take a random walk of some of these popular stocks that people on Twitter like. Uh, this is uh, CELH. Good reason to like this one. It's had a uh, a nice run. Um, you can see the consolidation here and then another consolidation with this nice uh, sharp pullback. Um, today it came back. <laughs> this is what frustrates people. It looks like it's running and then it pulls back below its 50. So as uh, CELH, a very difficult stock for me to trade. It's very frustrating, kind of like Enphase. Uh, uh, SMTI, I'm staying away from this one. I don't like the uh, <clears throat> I don't like the short report. I don't like the reaction to it. Um, it's sliced. It's fifty. This is what I'm talking about with Alpha stock that slices. It's fifty and can't 
power through there just hangs around then what happens it gets hammered and now it's a uh, you know, almost 6% below its 50. So it's got a lot of work to do. And uh, it's going to have earnings on February 1st. So it's going to have to deliver the goods and uh, prove itself. You always allow stocks and indexes to prove themselves. San Mina, stock that I really like, like the people, but hey, slice is 50. And this is what I'm talking about. Can I get through it here? Rejected it to 50. Got the Matambo treatment. Got slammed down today. And uh, it looks to me like 60 bucks is a, is a little war going on there. Uh, PI, Inpinge, I guess that's the name of it. Just a breakaway gap today. Nice move. Uh, good volume. And, you know, you got to like that action in a stock. Um, they had nice earnings last week and had a muted response. And now they have a delayed reaction today. And uh, that's actually a nice three-day move here for uh, PI. One of our leading stocks at mcstockcharts.com. Uh, here's a shift for payments. Another one that I really like. Got to look at this IPO from 20. Had this nice run and now forming this little base here and had this consolidation and ran up. But I like this. I like this stock and I'm keeping my eye on this one. This is one of my top 10 picks for uh, 2023. I think uh, four has got some something going on here. Iridium, another one that I'm watching, obviously had this Gap higher and then needs moving averages to catch up. 1.9% above the 10 EMA. So let those catch up, maybe form a little shelf here. Uh, that one's doing well, doing nothing wrong. How about stocks I like? I like uh, HLIT. I'm just going to show you the chart. I'm, you know, I'm not going to em embellish a lot here. You could see the charts. You could see the action. You could see where they're at. And you could see why I like them, I hope. Here's our Axon, nice little base here, pulling back to moving averages. That stock has the ability to move really quickly. This is Atcore, another one. This is consolidation. I like stocks that consolidate. I don't like uh, chasing stocks performance because when they pull back, little garden variety, 10% pullback, then you get you get shaken out like a weak hand. And there's a UNVR chemical uh, specialty stock. You can see the consolidation here. Had a little uh, flat base, looks like a little three weeks tight here. Not a fast moving stock, but uh, I like the formation. Plexus, I like this. This is in the San Mina group. Nice uh, flat base. Got a little fake out here and then a shake out. We'll see if that one wants to move here in the next couple of weeks. My last one is Allegro Microsystems, the semiconductor manufacturing. And you can see on the weekly base on base, little pullback here. I kind of like it. It's got the uh, blue dot for the relative strength. Anyway, that's it for today. That's my daily review. And we never give up.